Hey everybody, I want to welcome you back to the channel State of Charge, where we talk about solar power, web technology, and life stories. Now, if this is something that is interesting to you, please go ahead and like and subscribe, hit that bell to be notified. For those of you that are coming back, thank you so much for coming back again. And for those of you that might be new to the channel, I hope this content is relevant to you. Now, a couple weeks ago, we did some videos on LightSail and WordPress and load balancers and all kinds of information was given in those videos. I would really encourage you to check those out. It's, it's helped me out as I was doing it and hopefully it, it'll help you guys out if you're looking to use LightSail for any of your WordPress hosting and development. And so in this video, I thought I would go ahead and show you how to do and install HTTPS, a digital certificate using Let's Encrypt right through the Bitnami WordPress stack. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get your site secure so that you have a secure connection to your site and all of your assets. So before we dive into that, there's a couple assumptions. One is you have a LightSail account and you already have a Bitnami WordPress stack created. You have access to your WordPress admin and you can get in and start working on your site. So all of those things are assumed uh, as well as you have a valid domain name where you can edit the DNS. So those prerequisites are going to be very important. A light cell instance running, domain that you have access to DNS, and the ability to log into the WordPress backend for us to move forward with this specific tutorial. So assuming you have those things in place, let's go ahead and dive right in and show you how to install the digital certificate on your Bitnami WordPress stack on LightSail. Man, that is a bunch of words there. So let's dive right in and do this together. All right, as you can see here on my screen, I am logged into the LightSail manager, the dashboard here for us, and you can see I have a single WordPress install. And I can come up here and I can manage it, I can stop it, I can reboot it, I could connect to it. And it's gonna be very important for us to be able to connect to this instance to get it running. Now I have a domain name already mapped to this IP address. So let me show you that right now, here in my domain manager, in the DNS management, and this is just a simple GoDaddy dashboard. Uh, on my zone here, my zone files, I've got the domain's A record set to that instance IP. So we've got 5241131.21. We come over here, 5241131.21. But as you can see, I've got this domain, which is mandalorian.com pointing to that. So if I come over here to this last tab and I look at mandalorian.com, you can see that I have it up and running and it is working on that WordPress instance. Now, for the sake of this demo, I'm not gonna be doing any design, any themes, any layout. I'm just simply doing a quick post so you can see how this works because fundamentally, whether you have a page or whether you have a post or whether you have media, this process is exactly the same. So we know that this is not secure because in my browser, I can click on this and it tells me this connection to this domain name is not secure. So we want to go ahead and make this connection secure. And this is the really the meat of this specific tutorial and this video for you guys. So what we want to do again, double check that your domain is pointing to the IP address. And we know that it is because we can come up here and we can actually visit the URL and we see that taking place. Let's go ahead and get back into the dashboard. So we have access to that. One quick thing that I want to show you here, especially with WordPress Bitnami stacks, um, as you come in here to general, you notice that this URL here is, is grayed out. So this is intentional. This is how Bitnami decided to do the WordPress install uh, on, on LightSail, but it's very easy to edit this. And I'm going to show you because we do want to make sure that this also shows HTTPS once we have everything installed and we have everything running securely on the server. So without further ado here, we're going to come over here to the LightSail home and this specific instance, and we are going to click 
on the connect icon. And this is just bringing up an SSH terminal and you can get your login screen there. Now, once that you're here, this is going to give you some tools right off of the bat. I just simply highlight this BNH helper tool that gets provided by Bitnami. I just simply copy that to my clipboard and I paste that in and this is going to bring up the helper tool. And you can remove the Bitnami banner, you can set up Let's Encrypt, and you can manage and do any of the other uh, things that you might want to do here. The support tool is very um, easy to set up a support ticket if you're running into problems. But let's just go ahead and let's set up Let's Encrypt. So I click on that and I just simply hit return. And this is going to execute the... Um, SSL tool for us. So this is the HTTP configuration tool. So what you're going to want to do is you type in your domain as well as a space and then www dot your domain name and then hit return. What this is going to do is this is going to do a reverse lookup to make sure that that domain is pointing to the internal IP or pointing to the IP address of this server. So yes, we do want to enable HTTP to HTTP redirect. So we're gonna type in capital Y in there. Now this is a personal preference. This is not something that you have to necessarily do if it's not your preference, but I don't like to have www always in the front of my domain name. It's not necessary. So when this says enable non www w to www direction, that just means that if you type in example.com, your browser is going to redirect to www.example.com. We don't necessarily need that, at least that's in my opinion. So I hit no on that, I don't want that redirection. But on the flip side, I would like it so that if you type in www.example.com, that it redirects you to simply example.com. And so on this one, I hit the uppercase N for that. Again, that's personal preference. And this is gonna be the things that I want you to look at here when we're installing this. It's it's gonna stop the web server. It's gonna configure the web server to use the free Let's Encrypt certificate for the domain. And it's gonna configure a cron job to automatically renew the certificate each month. That is very, very important and very, very convenient. So this cron is going to check if the domain is still active to that IP address and it's going to renew that SSL every month. That is very, very cool. Then it's gonna configure the web server. It's gonna enable HTTPS redirection and it's going to then start the server once all of these changes have been performed. And so then we need to agree to those changes. So yes, let's go ahead and agree to those changes. And then from here, there are um, some email information that they might wanna send you if perhaps it doesn't install correctly or it doesn't renew correctly. Here you're gonna enter in your email address and you are going to agree to the subscriber agreement. And this is going to take a little bit of time to perform the necessary actions to the Bitnami installation. So this might take some time. Let's be patient. We'll go ahead and pause the video and come back as soon as this has been done. All right, so success. The Bitnami HTTPS configuration tool succeeded in modifying our installation. And it gives you where those HTTPT comp files were backed up and then created for the HTTPS. Now let's go ahead and hit enter to continue and let's get back to the main screen here. We can hit quit and now this just takes us back to the default SSH terminal screen. So I'm going to go ahead and close that down now. So what we should be able to see now is when we go back to our website and we should see this auto redirect for us now. And sure enough, it did. So we can see that we have a lock, right? So we know that this has been redirected uh, to an HTTPS. We can look at the certificate. So as you can see, we have a valid certificate and this website is secure. All right, now that we have verified that our digital certificate is secure and the site is running with a valid lock key, what I like to do is I like to go back to my dashboard here and it's gonna have you log back in because it did redirect. And so let's go ahead and log in. 
when we go to the settings, if you remember, we looked at the general, we still have this HTTP here. So this can create some problems, especially with your media assets, because it still thinks that it's HTTP. Now, why is that? Because we did configure the light cell server. We do we can come over to the domain and we can visit the site and we do see the automatic redirect. But why is it that when we go to the dashboard, we look at settings, we still have this showing HTTP. The reason why this is happening is because this is hard coded into the config file with WordPress. So the last thing we want to do is we want to go to an FTP uh, program and we want to go ahead and log in with your FTP credentials um, that you have available to you through Bitnami and through WordPress. I'm not going to go into details. That's a whole other video, but we have access to it. So we double click here on the config file and we are going to open that to edit it. I just simply use my Atom editor and I come down and in this specific install on line 98, I am going to simply change HTTP here to HTTPS and HTTPS there. We're going to go ahead and save that config file to the server and let's go back to our dashboard here. Let's refresh the settings and let's see what happens here. All right. As you can see, HTTPS. So now all of our settings all of our media assets, all of our pages, all of our posts are going to be referencing HTTPS. And now your site is fully secure and ready to go for all of your visitors to enjoy. So I hope that this crash course in SSL installation on the Bitnami WordPress stack with LightSail was beneficial to you. I use this every single day uh, and do this uh, so that my client sites are secure. If you ever need any help or have any comments, please post below. I'm here to assist and I wanna thank you for watching today. And it is towards the end of the year, 2020. And so happy new year to everybody. May 2021 treat you better. Thanks for watching and we'll talk soon, bye.